O'Shea Jackson gets dragged for working with Trump administration on Platinum Plan. Let's find out. O'Shea Jackson. Going MAGA? Come on, you know that's not going to happen. The president's administration revealed help from rapper turned actor O'Shea Jackson on the Platinum Plan, which outlines President Trump's promise to black Americans. Although the move was not an endorsement for Trump in the 2020 presidential election, Jackson faced backlash. On Wednesday, after White House senior advisor Katrina Pearson thanked him on Twitter, how much do you want to bet most of that backlash came from white liberal types who always like to speak on behalf of everyone? She wrote, leader's going to lead, haters going to hate. Thank you for leading, followed by the medium brown raised fist emoji after thanking the Friday star. She also followed up the tweet with a gif of the rapper smiling with the caption, today was a good day in reference to his legendary hit song. Interesting how we're talking about things that are about 10, 15 years ago from this guy. Hmm. Is he even still relevant? As the tweet gained traction, many began to call out Jackson for working with the Republican Party, namely Trump, on the political plan. Author Roxanne Gay shared on the social media platform, disappointment in the news writing, how does the guy from NWA become MAGA? after questioning if money was involved. It's been a topic I've been meaning to cover, but the hypocrisy of it all. Oh, as a black man, you better, whoosh, you better get in line, right? You see it out there. You individuals that are MAGA types that are colored individuals, gay individuals, whatever you are where it doesn't conform with like traditional expectations of how you're supposed to vote, which, or we're going to do something to bash you. The cult mentality, right? You must do as we say, you must bow to the cult. You must think and say and do exactly what we want, or else you're not one of us. Now, there may be a small portion of people that feel this way, but you know how it is. That'd be my challenge for any individual that doesn't fit within typical kind of constraint of what they say you're supposed to be in order to be a Republican. And this will be for the other side as well, but if they say, oh, well, you're this, this, and this, uh, you must have to be Republican. You're this, this, and this, you must have to be a Democrat. Well, even if you are a Democrat, Here's my challenge to you. Let's say you're a gay black guy and you're a Democrat and you want to just troll your friends. Just say, hey, you know what? I'm going Trump this election and see how fast they turn on you. Go on Twitter and endorse Trump, even as a joke. See how fast they turn on you. If you're an Antifa person, say, you know what? I like being out here smashing up stuff, but you know what? I'm voting Trump, baby. <laughs> See how fast your friends turn on you. If you're a feminist, a gay woman, Latina, whatever these typical categories you fall within where they tell you you're supposed to vote Democrat, come out and endorse Trump. Please do it. Just as a joke, just please, please do it. Even just to have the balls, just to tweet it out. Like if you have a large following, I just want to see how people react. I think it'd be great. And the same would be true for Trumpsters, right? If you're out there hard for Trump, you know what, and you're at a party one day and there's like 100 Trumpsters there, they're waving their MAGA flags. You know what, you say, you know what, that Joe Biden, he has some great points. I wouldn't mind seeing Kamala Harris as president in 2021. Do it. Just to troll, just to see what they say. You don't have to seriously mean it, but just troll people. The point is, is they tell us we're supposed to fit within these boxes. And the same thing is true of Jackson here. They tell him he's supposed to be a certain way. Well, Troll them. You owe it to them to troll them. Let's click on Roxanne real quick. I want a tiny baby elephant. If you clap, I clap back. I write, bad feminist, difficult women, world of Wakanda. There you go. World of Wakanda, that's all you need. Let's click on that photo. All right. I guess I'm supposed to take that person seriously. Despite all the feedback, Jackson remained firm that his actions were with a bigger purpose. He responded to critics with his own tweet claiming both Democrats and Republicans contacted him, and he made the decision to speak with the Trump administration, who subsequently altered their plan. Hmm. I guess say whatever you want about his intentions or him as a human. I think he's a piece of shit, and it wouldn't surprise me if he were 
one of the more racist individuals you would find. Again, I like to say I keep the bar high for that. But it wouldn't surprise me if that were to be divulged that he wore that based on his love for Louis Farrakhan. It's hard not to be a racist when you roll with Farrakhan. But in spite of my personal feelings, if an individual is asked for assistance and input, and they give their input and things change because of that, I guess you gotta credit the individual. Why would this guy have a voice of all people? I don't I don't keep up with hip hop news or the cultural thing, but why why are they going to this guy? Why is somebody saying, hey, does anybody have O'Shea Jackson's number? Let's go ahead and give that guy a call because he's definitely a brilliant scholarly mind that's always been focused on bringing Americans together. He can possibly have anything to do with any divisions that exist. Let's call up O'Shea and see what he says. The CWBA is Jackson's contract with Black America. He shared on social media and offered readers the opportunity to make comments and suggestions. According to his post on Facebook, the CWBA was designed to start the hard conversations. It was made to be perfected and debate. Perhaps I mean debated. I bet that he's trying to highlight all of the statistical issues we know, things that are holding back not only black individuals, but individuals of all communities, keeping them kind of on the lower rungs of the social economic scale. Let's see what he says. I bet he's got great solutions here. All right, as I said, I'm looking forward to the scholarly mind bringing races together. I haven't seen it. This guy's got to be a genius. He's got to have some advanced degree beyond a PhD. So let's see what he says. After 400 years of unequal treatment, black Americans have had enough with gradual reform and a nation that prides itself as the world's greatest democracy. While well-intentioned solutions may have been tried, it's simply too much to ask an oppressed people to stay patient. To finally create the more perfect union all Americans deserve, it is time for a complete paradigm shift in how we run our institutions and operate our country. I think we know where this is going. Let's skip a little bit further down and see what he says here. System of reparations. A commission required to determine how such reparations are to be distributed. Funds must be distributed to black Americans within a year after the commission is established. Affirmative action for all secondary schools, colleges, and universities, public and private. Black enrollment must meet or exceed the percentage of black population nationwide, 13.4%. So it must meet it or exceed it, meaning other races would be disproportionately affected by this. So what if some school gets up to 20% of black enrollment and the Hispanic and Asian populations each have to suffer by a few percentage points because of it, or whites as well? Would he care? Would he be calling for it to swing back the other way? Oh, no, 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 no. However, 25% black enrollment will satisfy the county requirement if the school can prove they are a national school with less than 30% enrollment from the state the school is located. Mandatory civil rights and anti-racism classes in all elementary schools. Black scholars will write the textbooks and curriculum adopted for these classes black representation on all government, civil rights, investigative bodies, reform gerrymandering, more polling sites in minority and black neighborhoods, Juneteenth to become a federal holiday, equal health care facilities in all neighborhoods, regardless of demographics. We're not even going to go any further with this. I think this kind of confirms my feeling. What I've always known about him is that he's a racist piece of shit. He might be a homer for black individuals, which is fine. I mean, most individuals have preference for their particular color. I shouldn't say most. That's most of some individuals of certain colors seem to have preferential desires <laughs> for their color. <laughs> like I said before, and I've said it many times in my videos, if you're out here just for you and your type, then you're not out here for everyone. I don't even see you as an American. I just see you as a racist piece of shit, a discriminatory piece of shit, a bigoted piece of shit, whatever kind of word you want to attach to it. You're either out here for all of us or you're a piece of shit in my mind. Some of you may disagree. You may say that's a little bit harsh, but that's just how I feel about it. I was never raised to see myself in any particular way pertaining to my color in terms of identity. Call it my upbringing, damn my parents. The former member of NWA has not yet publicly endorsed a candidate. However, 
he has used his Twitter account to offer political opinions, including a critique of Democratic nominee Joe Biden and his plans for the black community. I believe Joe Biden still needs to show us his major plan to help heal the black community, to totally secure the vote. To secure the vote? What's he talking about? The thing that cracks me up about all of this is he'll say, all of this stuff's needed to help us heal. All of this is needed to help us. Us, 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 us. You have to give us stuff. You have to help us. Now, like I said, I get it. People are homers for their own race, oftentimes. Some people aren't. Some people are like me, where they just see an American as an American who wants everyone to do well. To think that you have this individual out here who really thinks that they're owed something, that they need the government to put all of these things in place to help them, it's kind of saddening in a way because it tells me that that individual feels like whatever group he's talking about can't succeed on their own. Now, I know there's individuals of all genders, colors, creeds, preferences, preferences, right? It's derogatory. That, that don't necessarily think their group needs a handout or they work hard, they want to work hard to make their own way. And to come out here and be so blatant about your lack of faith, we'll say, in your people to make it, when you have examples of every race, gender, nationality, religion, whatever you want to say, that can make it, that you have individuals out here coming to this country with nothing and still succeed on an individual level, and you're still out here wanting the baby, you want the baby to be rocked, right? Oh, come on, rock the baby. You want the bottle put in the mouth. Cradle to grave, that's what they say, right? Cradle to grave. That said, I don't blame him at all. I don't blame him at all for trying to use his position to try to force some of this stuff or push some of this stuff forward. But like I said, I think he's a racist piece of shit. I've always thought he was a piece of shit, but I'm not going to hate on the guy. What I want to know is why people even listen. When you see this thing and the first thing he talks about is reparations, when he talks about anti-racism, when he talks about black scholars all of these things being mandatory, it just shows me what he's really about. He's not really out here for America. He's just a self-serving guy. And he's just out here trying to make money grifting. Ice Cube became a grifter. Who knew that a guy that was out there rapping hard would become nothing more than a grifting racist piece of shit? Maybe I'm going hard on him. Maybe you guys disagree. Maybe you say, oh man, he had some great music. He must be a great voice in society. Maybe... You say that they, there's far more to him than meets the eye here. Maybe there is. That being said, I've always felt and believed that you're either out here for all of us as a proud American or you're just a piece of shit that I don't see as an American. All the best, everybody. Take care.